So let me go through these columns. I know that I want an absolute reference for all of the expenses because all of my expenses are in column B. Now I want the cell references to move down a row every time here, but I don't want them to move over a column. I want to lock in that column. So what I'm going to do is go into the formula and absolute reference. I could stop there and then go down and absolute reference each one of these and then copy that over or a faster way to do it would be to hit F4 again and one more time and now the dollar sign is only in front of the B. So all it's locking in is the B and not the row. So that you can see here it moved from B10 to B11 so it's now pulling the building and rent mortgage where it should and insurance where it should but when I copy and paste it over another column, it's staying in column B. So this is another way to use absolute reference. Again, if you went through and did the absolute reference with both dollar signs on all of these and then copied and pasted it over, you'd get the exact same answer and that's perfectly fine. It was just a little faster for me to only do the absolute reference once and then copy and paste that down here. And we can see my formatting got off, so I'll go ahead and reformat there real quick and go down to income before taxes. Here everything is a relative reference and it should stay that way because I always want to pull those sections, these expenses and gross profit, even if I'm over here in the February column in column C, I still want it to pull those cells from column C, not from column B, so I'm going to leave that alone. Here I want B15 to be a relative reference because I want to pull income before taxes when I move over to column C for February, I want it to be in column C. But I want my income tax expense to be an absolute reference because I always want it to pull cell B19. So I put the absolute reference for cell B19 and we'll go on to net income. Again here, I don't need an absolute reference. We're gonna leave these both as relative references so that it's always pulling income before taxes and income tax expense from the column related to the month that we're in. So when I copy and paste it over to column C, it's gonna pull income tax expense and, and income before taxes for column C or February. Okay, now we're ready to copy it over. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste over, let's go for all six months that we have data. I just need to auto fit the columns so that I can see those numbers. And we got the check figure of 127,750 for February and your check figure for June is 164,500. So take a minute and copy and paste that information over. Make sure that you have the right numbers. And if you don't, you may want to rewatch this video. I will also post the completed data file so that you have it to reference and look at each of the formulas if you need a little bit more help. But make sure before you take the quiz for this module that you're able to prepare a spreadsheet like this or this spreadsheet all on your own without using the video. We're done with activity one. We're gonna move into activity two on the next video.